of God, if that is your identity intrinsic within your very being, there is no reason for you to be insecure. Ang tao po insecure papatay. Ang tao insecure magdi-divide ng pamilya. Ang tao insecure nagwawasa ng pagiging magkakaibigan. So go back to the truth. Wala po tayong dapat paglabanan before God. We are the same. And in this ministry, nakikita natin ang interdependency. And this is where and how we can survive and exist. We need to be inter interdependent. Kailangan natin ang isa't isa. And this is my prayer to each and every one of you today. Sana maramdaman ninyo ang Diyos. Sana ang inyong isip maliwanagan. Yung inyong mabibigat na nararamdaman nyo. It hurts. Frustrations. Disappointments. Unforgiveness. Sana mahil. Dahil awang-awa na sa inyo ang Diyos. God knows. Your heart is aching. Bago pa lang kayo pumunta dito, alam na ng Diyos na ang inyong puso ay puputok sa sama ng loob. But this God is going to remove it right now. Tatanggalin ng Diyos. Alam niya, you have so much fear. Takot tayo lahat mamatay. Ayaw natin ang may kaaway. But today, He's going to make you whole. Today will be the beginning of your new day. Wala kayong dapat gawin. Just be open for the coming of the Holy Spirit into your life and wait for the movement of the Spirit and you will be healed. Amen. God, look upon your people this morning. Touch each and everyone here. Ipuin mo po sila pagalingin sa kanilang mga karamdaman. Touch them from head to toe. Those who are suffering from excruciating pain all over their bodies. Touch their eyes, their neck, their throat, their cancers. Lord, right now, heal them. Yung mga hindi magkaanak dito. Yung may emphysema. May diabetes, may kidney problems, may asthma, may allergies, suffering from lung disease, sciatica, and most importantly, Lord, right now, those who are suffering from emotional problems, financial problems, mga pamilyang hindi magkasundo, bring healing to them, O Lord God. As we ask the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, as we pray, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, merciful and loving God, we, your people, are gathering here together this morning. Believing that you will listen and answer to all our prayers and petitions. For we ask all this in the mighty name of Jesus the Lord. Amen. We just need enough space for Father Fernando to walk. So we just need an usher on each side to bring the people in, okay? We have a healing already. Say your name. Come and say your name and what just happened. I'm Vilma Iras Gaban Tokor. Masakit ang mga kamay ko. Ngayon wala na ang pain. How long you had that? Matagal na. Matag More than a year, she's had a problem with her left hand. Show everybody no pain now. She's moving it and she has no pain. Tama? Thank you, thank you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So Jesus is the money. Say your name and what happened? Um, kanina po, talagang na masakit ang mundo ko. Then, one touch lang po. That's it. Wala na po siya. Wala na. One touch lang, no more. Hindi sakit sa ulo. How long you had that? Kano ka tayo? A year? 
One year, she said, this problem just disappeared. Jesus just healed you. You thank the Lord. Palakrakan natin sa Panginoon. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, we have a testimony. Say your name and what happened. I'm Jerson Sukway. At first, ako ay sisa kong may then but after that, si brother, but nawala na siya. How long you had that? Three years. Three years, he had a lump on his neck gone. Praise the Lord. Here's another testimony. Say your name and what happened. I'm really great. I'm suffering from back pain. And after touching others, what is it? It's a bird. Um, three, three months ago. For three months, he said back pain. He said, now Father touched him. One lung back pain. It's all gone. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Here's another testimony. Say your name and what happened. Yeah, I'm Julie Rosalem and I have a persistent back pain. After Father Suarez touched it, that's it. It's gone. Uh, it's almost five years. Oh, five years of back pain. It's gone because Jesus healed you. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Say your name and what happened. For one month, she had a sore back. All gone. Salamat sa Diyos. Praise God. Another healing. Say your name and what happened. I'm Susan. Praise and thank you, Lord, for healing my knee. Two years ago. That's why I'm telling Sir Tony Boy I will retire because of my knee. And it is really not approved. Now I'm healed, but I will still retire. <laughs> Thank you. Simone, say your name and what happened. Uh, Edi Dapal. Mm, masakit po yung likuran ko kanina. Tapos yung pag-heat na nalabot ni Father, nawala na po yung sakit. Salamat po sa Diyos. Praise the Lord, healed of his back. Praise the name and what just happened. Rehenshu. And he did what? He said, uh, three years. And now, now, wala na ho. Wala na. Three years of back pain also disappeared. Thank you, Jesus. What happened? I'm feeling masakit yung buhut. Pero ngayon medyo okay na. How long you had? One year. One year. Sakit sa likod. Wala na. Six. Okay now, heal. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, say your name and what happened. I am Rami. Uh, pero kung sakit sa liig, palagi po ang namamanhit. Ngayon po, nawala na. How long you had? Uh, going on and off for three years na po. Uh, three years, problem in his neck. Father prayed over him, no more pain. Praise the Lord. Another testimony. Say your name and what happened. Uh, also Samson, uh, I was having a uh, back pain here, probably eight, more than eight years, and it's gone. Eight years of back pain disappeared as well, lots of pain in the back of this place, and now they're all being healed. Praise the Lord. Say your name and what happened. My name is Patrick, and no one is a pizza to put on your head now. So at least a year. One year of pain, all gone. Thank you, Jesus.